Hi everybody, Andy here. Today I want to talk about improvisation and uh, maybe I can give you some advices to get better, to play better improvisation, to play better solos, as the guitar players used to say. Um, well, music is a language. The word language means when you, when you are very tiny, you start talking, right? And you say words like that you hear like mama and papa and in the beginning nobody will understand you <laughs> except your parents. Uh, but it gets better and better and better. And after a while you talk in sentences. You say things that are in your mind and you don't think about the words you say or something like that. And you, don't, you also don't say just words like, you know, some people when they improvise they play like, they know here are the notes and they play like... Well, that sounds like notes, but it's not music. Um, to, to build good musical sentences, you need to have um, the melodic and the rhythm in your mind. That means you need to know, to know how this language works. And if you know a lot of different vocabularies, and a lot of words and stuff, as a, that means melodies and rhythm, then you can start uh, doing your own thing. Um, so first of all, you need to have it in your mind. You have a melody in your mind like and then you play it. Or you play some more sophisticated stuff like and so on. I have all that stuff in you in my mind. So it's first here, I sing it and then I play it. That's the main thing. And to practice that, um, you must know the chords. You must know some shapes like the pentatonic shape, for instance, is the easiest one. So you start with your pentatonic stuff and you build it up. And then you, you hear maybe notes that are a little bit out of the pentatonic, but they sound super great, great notes. Then you check out what these notes are in context to the chords and stuff. That's, that's a way. The other thing is you, you learn the chord notes, the arpeggios. Oop, these strings are too hard for a bang. Um, this was just A major, D major, and E major, uh, E7, and then, uh, or e, e major. A, D, and E major, and then A major again. So you learn the chord notes. Maybe you learn some scales, whatever, but the main thing is that you have this melody in your, melodies in your mind, and then you can play it. So that's the most important thing. And always remember, improvising, it's just like talking. Music is just like talking. It's it's absolutely the same. Yeah. So when when I play, say, a jazz blues, I I have my arpeggios, I have my scales, I have my notes that sound good, and I think it's a good way to to check out the chord notes to the arpeggios and then put some notes into it. Maybe you know the scales, but um, it helps because there are options to the chord notes. But don't, don't play too much scales. Scales are, are in some musical styles necessary and good, but melodies are not scales and scales aren't melodies. And when you listen to great improvisers, they don't play scales. They play melodies all the time. Build up your own style and you will see it works. So when I play a blues, for instance,
things like that are completely improvised. But I have it in my mind. I can sing it. I can. So maybe I don't sing every every note right because I'm not a, I'm not a good singer, but that doesn't matter. I would really. Um, To sing uh, when you play, sing everything that you play because when you sing it, then it gets more direct into your brain, into your ears, into your listening system. Do that, yeah. So I hope this lesson was a little bit um, help for you and fun. And uh, I go for a walk. It's one of the last nice summer days today, and I will go for a walk with my camera and make some shoot some photos and and have fun with that and if you like my videos then uh, please uh, subscribe make comments and uh, there is also a tip jar button where you can send me some whatever <laughs> have a nice day bye